Alright, today we are going to look at cutting a basic snowflake. You will need paper and a scissor. It's better if the paper is rather thin rather than thick and it would be best if you had a good sharp pair of scissors unlike these that are from the dollar store. Alright, take your paper and you simply fold it in half. Once you fold it in half, you fold it again. Alright, as you can see, this is the outside of the paper, this is the center of the paper. From the center of the paper here, <clears throat> which will be the center of the snowflake, you'll take it and simply fold it over until you have this shape. You'll notice there's excess here. We'll fold it one more time. All right, <clears throat> now we make our first cut. And as you will see, there is this excess here. So what you want to do is on the shorter curve here rather than the top curve, you'll want to take this and cut it like this this. Now, as you can see, I need to cut a little more. Right here, there's, this would be not a full tip of a snowflake if I were to leave it like that. And that's why you check and you cut back just a bit more. And there you have it. So this is the start of the snowflake. At this point, you can cut from this area on this side or you can cut on this side. Now I like to have a nice point on my snowflake. This once again is the center of the snowflake and it's, everything's going to branch out from there to the tip. So often I will start from here and I will cut down and I find it's important to cut out as much of the paper as possible. It makes for a more dainty snowflake. Alright, so I've cut this first top part and I think now I will go ahead and cut some down here in the bottom. Oops. <clears throat> All right, and well, let's see. Maybe I will cut another piece from this side. Oh, it is nice to have sharper scissors. Sometimes you can cut just a little too vigorously and you wind up cutting the bottom of your snowflake off. All right, so now I'm going to come back up top and I'm going to cut back down a little more. All right, as you can see, I have now made four cuts. And there's not a lot of white paper showing. So I'm going to do one more cut. So this is what the finished thing looks like before you un unravel it here. And as I do this, as I'm doing it, this is when I try to take away some of the wrinkles we've made, you know, the sharp edges from when we were getting it ready to cut. And so it continues to come undone. And there you have all right <clears throat> here is one that I've already folded up and I'll just go ahead and cut another snowflake 
and maybe this time I will okay this is my center once again this is the tip and you can just cut any type of shape if you don't cut a lot of the paper away you will wind up with a much fatter fluffier type of snowflake which is perfectly fine there's no right or wrong to this the point would be to just have fun uh, I think that they're great in the winter time because it's so dark so fast in the winter time and so there's a lot of times when you have really dark windows and the dark windows um, look great with the snowflakes on them Once again, now even when I want to make a snowflake exactly the same as another one, I seem never able to quite do it exactly the same. So just like in nature, no two snowflakes ever are the same. And so here we have the second one, and you can see they're not quite the same. <laughs> 